now when you see a number of big financial institutions coming and buy a certain stock these uh, as a retail investor should show you that this is a stock that we might see doing very well in the years to come which is uh, exactly the same thing that guys we are seeing on uh, neo neo guys it's a company that i've discussed a lot with you on this channel which is just set to do very well i mean so many of the retail investors uh, continue to load the boat on this neo stock i mean if you really want to see as to how many people are loading the boat go to uh, social medias like twitter you will see that people are really excited about investing into this company regardless of the fact that to date its share price has fallen down by over 60 percent from its all-time high investors or retail investors continue to load the boat into this uh, company which is something that is truly amazing and the fact that even we're seeing the big guns the big financial institutions adding more positions or even some that never owned this company or this new company coming to buy this new stock for the very first time i think you as a retail investor that is one of the things that are to motivate you to load the boat also onto this new stock because it is just said to do very well now with all that guys just yesterday we read a certain uh, good article indicating or showing us of some of the companies that added their holdings on the new stock and some of the companies that just uh, started buying their new stock recently which is something that is truly amazing i mean one of the companies that just started buying this new stock is a company that calls by the name of e-fund management now e-fund management guys it's a company that never owned this new stock but right now in february we just read that they started buying this new company now for those of you that don't know of course what this ifan management company is this is one of the largest integrated management corporation e company in china which is something that must show you that this is not just a small company buying new but this is quite a big company i mean for the fact that they are one of the largest uh, integrated management corporation company it's something that must show you that we are talking of a big company now they got or we got this news of saying that they bought this new stock around the 11th of february 2022 now this is something that is truly amazing because this just shows that more financial institutions are coming to buy the new stock which i believe that as a retail investor it should also motivate you to stay long onto this new stock because it is just said to do very well now this company bought shares of around 338,000 uh, shares of neo which is something that is truly amazing because this stake which they bought of neo it's valued at around 10.7 million dollars now I, I, this is something like i said which must show you that neo it's a company which is said to do very well which is why we are seeing even big companies coming to buy this stock now there are other big companies that owned this new stock like blackrock which just or which we read they just increased their new uh, holdings by almost four percent which is just truly amazing i mean blackrock you remember that it is one of the big financial institutions that own a lot of neo shares i mean end of a uh, year last year that is in december of 2021 we read that blackrock owned around 61 million shares of neo which were valued at almost two billion dollars so you can see that this is a company that owned a lot or even last year they were owning a lot of neo shares now they own around 64 million shares of neo which are now valued at around 2.2 billion dollars now this is something that i think it has to excite you as a new investor because this just means that even those institutions that owned uh, neo are increasing or are taking an advantage of this low trading price that we are witnessing on neo and loading the boat on the stock because they see that the future is quite bright on the stock i mean just yesterday i saw some retail investors indicating that they foresee neo going to 15 dollars per stock and they are only going to start buying there or they are going to increase 
their holdings when the new stock goes down there. And one thing that I always tell you is that nobody knows how the share of a company or how a stock of a company will react in the short term. Nobody knows. Yes, we might see them going down, but what if we don't see get to see Neo going back to 15 US dollars per stock? We would have missed the good opportunity that we are witnessing or these low trading prices that we are witnessing on the Neo stock, which is something that I believe you have to take an, an opportunity and load the boat on this stock right now. Now, this, like I said, as a retail investor, ought to motivate you to also do the same and load the boat on this stock because if the big fishes the big financial institutions are adding into this stock and as i've already told you they know and more info up than about the new stock than us which is something that i believe that it has to also motivate you to do the same it has to motivate you to load the boat i mean do you think that if these financial institutions knew that a uh, new is going to 15 they would buy this stock right now uh, on the current trading levels i don't think they were not going to do that but this just has to show you that nobody knows in the short term where the stock will go but all what we can do or all that we know is that in the long term neo is one of those stocks that will do very well so take these low trading prices of this stock and continue to load the boat on this new stock this is what i'm also doing because i believe in the good future prospects and the latest development that this company has i mean you will know that this company this year it is increasing their production capacity and i've discussed those kind of news or those kind of developments around the production increase that i expect to happen in 2022 in my previous video so if you want to find out about uh, the capacity and the, the kind of latest developments and the future prospects that we are to anticipate and that we are to expect out of neo not even very far just in 2022 please do go and check my previous videos because there i touched the, the latest developments the future prospects which ought to motivate you to add more holdings or to come in and buy this neo stock for the very first time now before you could load the board please like i always say please go out there do your own due diligence so that at least you can be comfortable when you are investing into this new stock. Otherwise, with all that, guys, I make tons and tons of stock market investing videos. And if you think that this video was amazing, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so that YouTube can notify you every time I release a video. Otherwise, that's all from me. And I'm going to be continue loading or to load the boat onto this new stock because I can tell you you are going to regret uh, two years down the line when you see the, the trading price which NEO will be trading at at that point in time. Which is why you are seeing a uh, Wall Street currently indicating that the price target or the 12 months price target which we can expect from NEO is around $60 per stock in the next coming 12 months which is something that must just show you that this is a company which will do or which we can expect the shares to do very well in the next coming uh, 12 months now with all that guys that's all from me and god bless you all